Miming Jerry? Mimingeri? Mim Min Gary? Mimingeri? Mimingeri? Me Ming Gary. <laughs> Mimingeri. Go on, Mimingeri. <laughs> Hey, we're back with more flowering content. Today we've got a plant that's gonna make your significant other say, that's a really nice Asculus. <laughs> Asculus hippocostinatum mimingera is a really cool plant. If you've got the correct way to pronounce this, I would really appreciate it. We've been trying to figure this out for years, but this is a really cool reticulated horse chestnut. I think you're gonna really enjoy this video. Hey, we'll pretend this is a ghost series plant and we'll just call it hippo ghost. But I've no <laughs> idea how to say Mim and Gary, full disclosure, but I love this plant. I, I, I'll give it my best stab at some Latin. Normally that I is hard, so it's like an I at the end. I don't know. Anyway, a, awesome plant with some reticulated variegation that is gonna make an excellent complement to any cl Asculus collection. We've actually been building up a lot of Asculus on here, so you may actually have a collection at this point, but a fun plant to pair with Japanese maples. That reticulated variegation is super interesting. This one's gonna have a white flower spike over top of that ghost-like reticulation that you're familiar with, with Japanese maples. It's gonna hold that really strongly in the early spring, but then malt into a little bit more of a green coloration, but with some great white flowers as well. And this is such a unique plant because it has almost like a golden variegation across the plant, but those veins become so prominent in the asculus leaf that it makes this have that ghost-like appearance, that reticulated style where you just see it and you're like, wow, that's so cool because you see all the etching of all the veins. And that's one of the things we love about a lot of the ghost types. And then to find that in an asculus or a horse chestnut, a European horse chestnut mm -hmm. is pretty amazing. Awesome coloration. This one's gonna work zones three through eight. So uh, watch out for it in your hotter zones. You know, it's gonna work up to zone eight. I do recommend some shade for its best variegation. Uh, you want a little bit of morning sun to pick up that flowering aspect of it, but some late day shade will actually give you that, that white reticulated veining later into the season. A really cool plant. I'd love to see this one planted next to something like a purple ghost or a wave leaf. Some, you know, put that yeah. out there with some reticulated Japanese maples that got some purple to them. The, the texture is gonna be insane. You know, I said this in our other video, but I like how almost tropical these look. You know, Brian mentioned they almost look like house plants for that really large foliage, but something that goes out in the landscape and really adds a lot of texture as well. With some large white flower spikes in the spring, this European horse chestnut is gonna be something that makes a nice upright tree, about eight to 10 feet in 10 years, and really just makes a statement out in the landscape with a unique style of variegation. You don't often find I don't see often or a lot of reticulated variegations in many things besides Japanese maples. Yeah, it's a really fun style. Uh, it's easy to see why we're into this. We love variegated plants to begin with. And this just kind of swirling reticulated, you see each little etching in every vein of this leaf. And it has such a large leaf too. It just makes a really nice palette for that larger overall look to it. Now again, this one's gonna have a bright white bloom. Being a hippocastrum has that more white elongated bloom to it. Makes a great pairing over top of that white foliage as well. Yeah, this is one of those plants that we really got into Asculus when Tony Avent said, Tim, Matt, there's no one doing many of these. Y'all yeah. need to be doing these. Y'all need to be getting these out to the public. And we went out to his gardens at Plant Delights and yeah. we were like, wow, he's totally right. Yeah, he kind of challenged us there at Juniper Level Town Garden. He was like, guys, you're, you're the uh, deciduous guys. You do all these fun ornamental plants. We got to get more Asculus into the landscape. So. We started offering a lot more of them here at Mr. Maple. You'll see them a lot on our Fun Flower Friday content. We're adding at least 10 fun flowering plants every single Friday at 10 a.m. So that's something you're definitely gonna wanna be a part of. Make sure to sign up for that weekly email. Share this video with your gardening friends. That's a great way they can learn about us and learn about these cool plants as well. Take care. God bless. And have a great day. My wife saw me plant one of these the other day. and She came out in the garden and she said, babe, that is a really nice Asculus.